Hi Saints, I'm getting ready for work right now, but I want to talk to you about a couple of dreams that I had. The first dream I had, it was a couple of weeks ago, probably not, about last week sometime, and uh, I was observing and watching, and what happened in this dream was that I saw how, to make a long story short, it was this large asteroid approaching the Earth, and it was a little bit bigger than the state of Texas, that's how big it was. So, there was riots everywhere, not only that, uh, people were scrounging for food like, sca like scavengers, like, like hyenas do, and lions and stuff like that, how they fight over food, they were doing that, there was no food, they were rioting. And I remember them screaming, you will not get away with this, but they were screaming this to female soldiers. Now, their uniform was, the, you know, their fatigues. Camouflage uniforms were, uh, sorry, gray, light blue, green. Much like the ones that I've seen in dreams before, but not, they don't look like the ones that are now. They're just, they're different. And the emblem on their, their uniform looked like it was United uh, Nations, but it wasn't. It looked different, like some type of a world order. Now, they were sent, they were, uh, basically, I guess they were sent to control the riots. And the riots were breaking out worldwide. And the thing is, they were having a gun battle with some of the individuals in, uh, that, you know, some of the civilians that were rioting, and all of them were armed, only a few. And they were having this gun battle, and then this large asteroid was approaching the Earth, and it wasn't just one, apparently they were approaching all over, it was, a bunch of them were approaching that size. So, that dream ended. Now, I, I recently... I have reason to believe that females are going to be more a part of the military, you know, so part of the military than ever before. I believe that they're going to implement some kind of a draft. So I just wanted to research to see if this was something the government was thinking of doing. And you can research it yourself. All you have to do is Google women in military draft. And as it turns out, our government here has a bill like that in the works where they're going to mandate that females 18 register. Not only that, they're going to mandate a, a military draft of females into the military. So I believe that this was some kind of a future event because I saw all women soldiers. I'm not saying that men soldiers will become obsolete, but I saw all women soldiers. The other thing, another dream that I had was... Um, I saw the United States... And, again, looked like a third world nation. Just looked really bad. It was different nationalities. Kind of a follow-up from the last dream that I told you all that I had. About the United States looking like a third world nation. Um, the United States looked like a third world nation. And, not only that, there was, again, different nationalities in the country. And it, and it wasn't just this time around, it wasn't just North Africa or the Middle East or Asia, you know, China, uh, Vietnam, you know, uh, Vietnam, Mongolia, Cambodia, Thailand. I saw some Japan, so Japan people here as well, Japanese people. These people are also coming from, um, I believe, you know, India is part of the African continent, okay? I didn't exactly get the best grade in, geog in, in uh, geography, you know, but I believe it is, not for certain. But I know they were coming from India, Pakistan, uh, they were also coming from uh, the Baltic states, a lot of them came from the Baltic states, Algeria, Yemen, I mean... It was flooding. There was more refugees ever, never. Most of them were Muslim. Probably about 99.9% 9 .9 of them. Excuse me one second, I'm just going to wash my face here. And, uh, 
most of them were Muslim. They live here in the States. And is it, I was given a both an aerial view of the United States and more like a ground view. In the ground view, I went to different cities across the globe, I mean across the nation of the United States. And um, what I saw was, it looked like the neighborhoods were a bunch of slums. It was trash on the floor, the buildings were run down, the houses were run down. Well, a lot of abandoned houses, like, people just left, you know. They just moved, American people left, and they were pretty much, uh, these residents were pretty much being replaced by these immigrants. People were leaving. And uh, there was families in the streets. Like I said, there was families in the streets. They were literally homeless. Some of the families in the streets that were homeless, actually a lot of them, were American. So if these houses were vacant, the abandoned ones, it could have been that these Americans could no longer afford the houses. And then they were evicted. They were kicked out. And uh, when they were kicked out, obviously they ended up on the street. They were kicked out of their houses and they can't afford them. That means that they lost their jobs. So there was some type of a massive layoff, job loss, economic disaster. They were starving. They were begging for food. So obviously there's famine. And they had all these lesions all over their skin boils and they had flies around them and stuff. Now obviously represents pestilence and also sin. Person living in sin that's talked about in the scriptures. And so um not only that I noticed a lot of them were fighting over food just like the other dream I told you about. I noticed that. So like I said the neighborhoods look run down. It was just it looked like a slump. And you see it from, if you look at it from an aerial view, it, the uh, United States, this is what, one thing I took notice of, in addition to the fact that it looked like a slum, there was absolutely no borders. I mean, all the borders of the United States was completely dissolved. And Hillary Clinton wants that to happen. And you might think, well, Trump doesn't want the, 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 the borders down, or he wants them back up. As I told you, I don't trust him. And I believe that... He wants the borders to stay down. I don't trust him, okay? He wouldn't be the first president that once he got in office, he reneged on all of his promises and basically just lied. I don't trust him. I believe he's going to keep the borders down. Because, like I said, in this dream, I saw all the borders were completely dissolved. Now, I don't know who's going to be president, but from what it looks like, when I told you I had a dream that I believe Trump won, it looks like he's headed in that direction, Okay? I'm not going to state that as fact, but either, like I said, some, if Obama doesn't stay in the White House, somebody's going to be in the, somebody's going to be sitting in the White House that's worse than he is. Bottom line, that the elites want, because the whole voting system is a scam. It's a scam. Your votes don't even matter. It's what the elites decide. And the only reason why the elites get to decide who's in the White House is because God allows it. Jesus Christ is using these, whoever's going to be in the White House next as, um... A judgment tool, and I believe Trump's gonna be is gonna win. I'm not stating it as fact. That's my opinion. Yeah, you know, I believe he's gonna win. I just feel like he's gonna win. So, with that being said, um, like I said, the United States look like a, a third world nation from an aerial view and a ground view, and it was a bunch of trash on the floor. It was also I took notice of dead people laying around. Dead people or injured people or people that were sick. Like they weren't, they were being totally neglected. So, um, and again, I believe it has to do, the United States looking like it has to do with the fact that they will not only dissolve the borders that we have in the front, they're going to dissolve the borders completely. They have the borders with, with, between the United States, Texas, Mexico, and the countries going down, but they're going to have the borders completely dissolved all the way around. Don't forget the borders at um, between Canada and the United States, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, they're going to have the borders completely dissolved. Take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. Stay covered by the blood of a lamb. 
We are in the last days, and I believe that Jesus was showing me a sign of the signs to come. Because the United States looked divided, and it looked worse than what it is now, more divided than what it is now, and it looked like, like I said, a third world nation. It looked even worse than Syria. That's how bad it looked. It looked worse than Pakistan. It looked that bad. There was disease and famine and pestilence everywhere. Economic disaster everywhere. Now, do I believe the United States was in some kind of a war? I believe so. Because um, one of the things I also took notice of in a dream is that there were foreign forces on our land. And I'm going to leave it there. You guys take care and have a good day.